afternoon. It's 3 p.m. Welcome to the global guided meditation call for Monday, June 18, 2018. Today's meditation, we look at the planet and we look at what ushers in many positive things and without the obstruction of conflict and aggression we usher in peace and peace allows us to be less stressed less less anxiety uh, less fear and we can go into a place within ourselves of calmness and peace allows for many things many positive energies to flow and expand and when we uh, look at the human race and we look at all of the conflicts that have taken place and all the things that are that are working themselves out here on earth uh, amongst humanity the uh, the separation of humans, uh, the lack of uh, cooperation, the lack of togetherness, uh, usually brought on by uh, the lack of peace, uh, more aggression, uh, more conflict. And that's what's pushed uh, by the negative forces. More aggression, more conflict, uh, the better, the more, the better. We, on the other hand, are energizing the frequencies to total peace. Total peace ushers in prosperity. It lets and allows things to flow naturally with no obstructions, uh, no, no conflicts. If you ever get into a conflict uh, with someone, and, and we all have at one time or another, you, you notice the effects it has. I, I don't think I don't think a lot of us really take to heart the effects that conflict has on us, and some of us will rec- recognize it that it takes a while to recover from the conflict. It just takes a while, uh, and it's disturbing and distressing. Physically, it, it plays havoc on us, and. Uh, mentally as well. So to uh, motivate the energies and to increase the frequency of peace on this planet with the human race, it's to, um, what do we call it, disconnect the aggressor energy. She's totally taken away. Uh, to uh, to neutralize the aggressive energy on this planet, and that doesn't mean that that humanity becomes uh, you know incompetent or weak. It means they strengthen and their resolve becomes even more so in the direction of peace for everyone. It's it, peace relaxes you and it gives you a, a freedom of uh, just think about that imagine being surrounded in total peace and that's where we go when we go inside of ourselves to our higher self and we go to the golden white pink light we are going deep into peace and when we hit peace we find it and some of us you know through our lives have hit a, a moment of peace and you know when you've you've come across it. You know when your vibrations are at that level, because you feel so freed. You're not you're not tense. You're not stressed. You're not looking over your shoulder. Um, you're not all cringed up. And when you know that a deep peace has taken effect, you become much more calm. Uh, you, you're not worried. Uh, you're not in a frightful uh, attitude. You're, you're not thinking about all of the outside things that are taking place because everything's at peace. And everything just runs smooth and unobstructed. 
Imagine when each human being is in a place of peace on this planet, which is truly obtainable, because we all have the ability within ourselves, with our God sparks, to collectively come together and to create that peace. It's not on outside of us, it's inside of us. The inside energy that we have, the omnipotent power source within these bodies, the God spark, is the uh, energy that we can use to create global peace. And not just for a short time. When we do this meditation today, we're going to implement it into a loop of energy, which it will be continually processing on the planet. And every now and then, during the course of the days and into the future, we will look at, to reinforce it by saying, peace be with you, peace be with the planet, peace be with me. Peace be with everybody. And what we're doing is we're talking to the higher selves of all humanity. We're talking to all the God sparks. We're communicating that energy to eliminate conflict on this planet. It's had enough. It's, it, it's exhausted of conflict, aggression, hatred, uh, misguided information that continually plays out and continually repeats itself like an old broken record where it just skips back, skips back, skips back, skips back. And we all know as we've looked through our lives, uh, no, no, no matter if you're in your 80s or 90s or you're in your 20s, it doesn't matter, but the lives that we're having, we've seen what conflict does. We've seen what it creates. And it's all, it, it, it's not acceptable. We, we as, as God Sparks, do not and will not give it any energy. It's not necessary. If you come across angry people, you can walk away. Or you can beam the light of the God, the one, prime source, creator God, mother, father God. You can beam that light to them where it diffuses that anger, that aggressiveness, that their reflection of themselves onto you. And that's exactly what this is. Whenever you come across anger or aggression, it is usually misguided. And it's usually it's usually reflection a reflection of that human and their internal conflict being reflected upon you. That's exactly what it is. And when that, when that conflict happens, you know it. And if you know that it is not you, because it's one of those situations where you haven't done anything, and, and the human is just angry for some reason, dissatisfied, distracted, and then you know that it's coming from them. So a lot of the times when you understand the, why the anger and aggression is coming out, if we understand it, we can forgive it and we can generate the we can actually reflect back peace to them and you don't have to say anything you just do it within and to, it just and i think everybody understands that once we create a blanket of total saturation of peace upon the planet we want to make sure that that peace continues to vibrate. So sometimes things take a little bit longer, they're not immediate, it takes a while for the saturation to take effect. But believe you me, with the amount of meditations that we have gathered here, we are expediting a high amount of vibrational frequency. And, you know, we're, we're growing by leaps and bounds, we're, we're over 80,000 participants, and uh, these are, and now it's not individually, there's groups that come on that are trunked onto the call. So, uh, 
we're, we can we just continue to grow. Eventually, we will set up uh, meditation centers across the planet, all over the planet. We're on a daily basis, just like we're doing via the phone, on a daily basis at a certain time, everybody will know to come together to meditate. Everybody at that particular time. In person, groups across the planet, they will know and they will engage in the meditation. Just a half an hour a day, seven days a week. So we're gonna morph this as we progress. It's going to, to advance and expand so that people in person, we will have groups across the planet that will go into meditation at exactly the time uh, delegated. And once that happens, the groups can connect. We will make sure we will have a mass. Eventually, we will end up with a mass meditation on the planet where different groups can come in and connect and we have tens of thousands every day meditating together. And that impact is great. It can create major, major shifts on the planet. And by using our God sparks, our higher selves energy that was given to us for that reason that we were created is that we are creators and to create peace and love and prosperity is what we're doing here. That's how impactful and important it is for humans to participate in this meditation. It isn't, you know, it isn't a, a ho-hum drum thing, well, I better go to the meditation. It's highly impactful. It's, it's humongous because it means that each human can ma make a major impact on humanity for the better so there's no and, and it's no longer and I've said this before there's no longer an excuse for humanity not to what can I do what can I do to help you can meditate with us it's a simple meditation it doesn't take anything you can walk right into it and become active with it you can be guided right into it so it's a it, it's a highly impactful meditative group that we're building here that's going to expand, that's going to grow, and it's going to go through a metamorphosis where we have physical bodies of humans across the planet gathering every day. And it's going to continue to do so until we have millions of humans meditating every day. That's why this was started. That's why this meditation was started. That's why I was guided to start it. It's just not going to stay on the phone. It is going to go all over the planet in physical form until we can reach the majority of the populace. Humanity should be in meditation together uh, collectively every day for at least a half an hour in meditation for each other, for the planet, for the whole of humanity, for the betterment for the expansion of life, all of it. So for peace in our meditation today, if you will, go to your places where you're not gonna be interrupted. You wanna empty the mind, all the chatter, all the thought processes that have come in during the course of the day, dump it. Dump your pockets, dump your mind, have it vaporized off sent back to the central sun. Any thought that you've been having that you don't care to have, eliminate it, let it go. And, and inhale through the nostrils, hold it for a couple of seconds, do it three to six times. You're inhaling divine positive energy. That divine positive energy is all of the higher frequencies. It's love, it's compassion, it's bliss, it's joy, it's prosperity, it's abundance, filling you as you're breathing it in, bringing you more and more into peace, into prosperity, into calmness, into centeredness. That's what you're, that's why you're doing that exercise. That's literally what you're taking in. 
you're exhaling through the mouth all negatives, all of the uh, random thoughts that you don't care to have, all of the things that you're carrying that are negative to you, that are weighing you down, that are causing you conflict, that are causing you stress, you're letting that go. You're blowing it out. It's being taken off, vaporized, and sent back to the central sun. It is growing and out. Now, you want to do is you want to go to your inner self, through your heart center, through your heart chakra. You're going to go deep within. The deeper you go, the more peace you get, you experience, that you're bathed in. And as you go, the deeper you go, the more you enter your vortex, and the vortex is golden white, pink light, sparkling and glittering and reflecting and bathing you. You can feel it saturating and bathing you in total peace, peace and harmony, totally saturating you. Also, in prime source, creator God's love, always, then... From there, you see your higher self, which is your God spark, which you join with. All of our God sparks and our higher selves are in communication with each other to collectively combine. And now we're going to call in all of those of love from the God. We're calling on all the archangels, the seraphim, the cherubim, the fairies, the sprites. We're calling upon the ascended masters. We're calling upon all the loved ones who have passed over. All of our loved ones that we know that we have had pass over to join us as long as they're invited, as long as they are all of love. And they're all invited in. They're all joining us. You can feel them move in behind us and with us and join us. We are all protected. We are all encased in a perfect sphere of eternal love from prime source creator God of golden white pink light and enrobed in the purple transmuting flame which negates, which takes away any negative, any aggressiveness, any poor frequency, it neutralizes it before it ever, ever gets to us. And the only thing that can penetrate our sphere is God's love. Now from that point, we're all going to float up above the planet. We're all arm in arm. Our, our perpetual uh, sphere of meditations is flickering and glowing and glittering and, and reflecting the golden white pink light on the planet and on us in perpetual motion all of the meditations are going we begin to feel the golden white pink light rain saturate us from above and it saturates us and brings in the frequency of total peace total peace all that we have been and all that we were, uh, will ever be. We are saturated with total peace, which ushers in beautiful, wonderful, happy, love. So many things come flooding in once we are at peace. That's our goal, is to obtain peace always. Is to be in peace at all times. And in the same rain is saturating each human, each living being, and saturating them with total peace. From outside in, from inside out. Burning away all negativities, all aggressions, all grudges, all excess emotional baggage that 
and, and aggression and anger and frustration that we have carried with us in this life are being melted away, vaporized and sent back to the central sun, being placed with the highest vibrational frequency of deep peace, deep love. You witness it, you feel it with your heart, and you see it with your mind. You feel it with your heart, and you see it with your mind. So I'll join in the meditation and be back to close it out. <laughs> 